Okay, we got E4. Okay, so since we're trying to teach people something here, we're going to play E4, E5. What speed run? It's a legendary speed run. Yeah, we're like 2300. Um, we're going to play Knight C6. Now, the Spanish opening is probably the most played opening at the top level. Spanish opening as well as the Gucci piano with Bishop C4, Bishop B5. Knight C3 is also playable. Fun fact, but I remember a while back, prior to an event, Jan Diplomacy in the first round had to play against Jeffrey Jean. Now, in that game, uh, or before the game the night before, Jan was telling me, he's like, well, Jeffrey always plays the Scotch Four Knights. How do you play for a win? And pretty much I told him, I was like, I don't know. So this is a, just a very rock solid opening for the white piece. It's very, very hard to beat it if your opponent with white knows what they're doing. So I develop, I threaten to win the pawn. So I'm threatening to win the pawn. I took towards the center because I want to build the center with D5 down the road. Let's castle, he'll castle, I'll play D5 and then try to build the center. Let's go here. Plays Bishop D2, which is also a very solid line. Um, I think the way that I'm going to try to win is I'm going to go Rook to E8, try to force him to trade the pawns here. Takes with a Knight, of course. So let's take. I'll trade some Bishops. Let's take with the pawn. And now I can play like C6 and Bishop E6 here. Maybe C5. I'm trying to build a bit of a chain with the pawns here. So I'll go C6, build my center. Queen to F4, okay. I'm going to go Queen F6, trade the Queens, Bishop E6, Rook B8. Try to play on the uh, queen side if I can. So I'm going to go work to b8 here. Um, so I'm probably going to play work to b8 or work to a7. My instinct is that I want to stack the rooks. So I want to trade and open up the a file here. Let's see what he does here. He can play b5, but after takes, takes rook c8, I'm better. Now I'm going to play rook a8, stack the rooks. I don't like f5 because it actually creates a weakness with the pawn on f5 here. Down the road. Goes rook e7, which looks a little bit wrong. Um, see, I can always take here and play rook takes a3. Whether this is actually winning or not, it probably is not. So, if I go King F8, Rook to E1 is maybe a move here. We'll see. Let's see what we get here. A takes B4, C takes B4, King to F8 is one line. I think it's probably a good line. I go here, attack the Rook. Pawn on A3 is very weak here. 2,000 on lead chess is like 1,600 on chess.com. Close, I would say, on average. That's fairly close. Yeah, so we get here. I'm going to go not easy to win I guess I'll go ah no I can go work d8 I guard the bishop and now he can't guard the pawn so if he goes back he loses the rook no actually now now I'm probably just much better OP checking stockfish. Yeah, exactly, you guys. Exactly. <laughs> Goes B5. Good move here. If I take, he takes back. So I take the juicer. I'm up a pawn. He'll trade, trade. Problem for white here is this pawn on F5 is a big weakness. It's a big weakness here that he has to deal with, and it's not easy to deal with it. That's why I felt like f4, f5 is a weakness because it put a pawn on a square where it's always under attack from this bishop. If I take bishop h5, bishop e6, he wants to go here and create the double kebab on the seventh, but I can actually cut him off with bishop e6 guarding the pawn, not bishop g6. Yeah, I go here, not this way because then he does infiltrate, but now I guard everything. And now I should be winning. It's just a matter of a precise precision play I guess f5 allows g4 so I'm just gonna go here okay one I guess I'll go here to guard the bishop 
And now I start pushing P. I've got this pawn. I need to start using it. Uh, I think D3, D2 is probably winning, but maybe not so clear. So let's go F5 here. Oh, I blundered Bishop takes F7. Oh my god. Oh my god. I blundered that. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Now, I, now I'm going to have to flag my blunder Bush takes F7. That's horrible. He's way too slow, though. I'm trying to run my king in. I'm going to win this game now. There we go. We got the win. Very, very good game. It's not Wednesday anymore. Yeah, exactly. It's not Wednesday. That's true. Okay, let's play the um let's play the classic Muzio Gambit here in the King's King's Gambit. I believe D is it Bishop takes F7 or is it D4? Actually, no, sorry. I think is it Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Is it Bishop takes F7 right away? I'm trying to remember if I misplayed the order. I'm gonna go C3 and D4 here. This is the Muzio Gambit. I'm down a piece, but I have a lot of quick activity. Also, I think I was supposed to put the knight on c3 here. I think I must have played this. Go here. Trying to win material here, open up the position so I can get these three guys in the game. These pieces are also out of play. Oh my god, oh my. Alright, let's do a bow test gambathon. Let's take. That was so bad. I was supposed to go to F3. Just drop back, I guess. If I win this game, this will be pretty hilarious. I don't think I will, but I might. Okay, let's bring the knight into the game. I had bishop f7 too. Let's bring the knight in. I'm just attacking here. I'm down a queen, but I'm I'm the one on the attack. Let's go here. Knight f7. I'm trying to attack. Impromptu? Yeah, it's an impromptu uh, gambit. Exactly. Keep attacking. It was for content. Let's be real. Exactly. Um, let's play E5 here and just open up the position. I'm getting some a serious uh, counterplay here, actually. Like, I'm getting some really serious counterplay in this position. It's getting very tricky for my opponent, actually. I might win now. I might. Yeah, this is really, really bad. I think I am going to win this game, by the way. This is why the queen. This is why the king's game is. Now I can even harass him further with bishop h6. Do I want to harass with bishop h6 or just take the rook? I think. I think I should harass further. Let's go bishop h6, hit the queen. Let's take now I have rook f8. I mean, this is getting so bad so fast. I'm threatening to mate him, by the way, now. He's up a queen, but his queen is actually stuck in the corner here. And I also have the legendary connect five. 
Um, this feels so close to winning, actually. I'm going to go here. No, I think I am actually just winning now. I have rook f7. I mean, this, this should be winning, but I don't see a forced win. Huh. Okay, I guess I'll just play d5. I don't even know what's the right move, but it's a move. Now I just take and it's mate. I just take or play rook, rook d8. Let's go check mate. Let's keep going. What am I eating? I'm eating some uh, so, some uh, yakitori, like chicken fried rice from uh, from Costco. Let's go here and play e6. Oh, uh, you guys want the link? I'll copy the link and put it in chat. There you guys go. There's the link. Play e6 here. Go here. Go bishop d6 and takes. Why does a bro have Dylan Brooks as his profile picture? I don't know. I don't know. Not coming back under any circumstances. Okay. Play knight e4 here. Let's play h5, g5, g4. I don't know. Now my, my opponent's asked me to sacrifice material here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go all in, I think, in a second. Maybe I can't. Huh, somehow I don't have a way to go all in. Oh, let's just take and let's just play h4. Let's take and go f5. I'm just gonna keep attacking here. What did I misplay? Uh the big misplay was you uh you didn't um when you were up the up the queen you didn't trade off pieces quickly. You tried to play it like it was a normal game. Let's take and play f5 here. Let's take the pawn. If he takes, he loses this one. If he trades, I get and I get the pawns on the edge. They're not they're not ideal, that's for sure. Okay, let's take check, play knight f6 here, knight e4. No queen, no problem. Yeah, exactly. Knight f2, good move. But now I have rook h4 and I activate very, very quickly here. I could play knight takes g4 and just play the position. I could go g5 too. I think I'm gonna go take. So I'm just gonna play this end game. I think this pawn on h3 should play in the end game. It should be a good pawn. Let's trade. Let's go here. Bring the king closer to the center of the board. I'll go here. Probably rook h5, rook f5, something like this to activate the rook. Are there any classic chessy cheesy jokes now? Um, I think I'm just gonna play maybe rookie h5 to guard the pawn here. Takes. I guess we'll take with the e pawn to create a chain here and open up more scope for the king to run. So here, maybe g4. I'm trying to get the rook in if I can. That's basically the idea. We'll go here, rook. F5, threaten the mate. Oh, we can just take the pawn. Oh, it goes king g1 instead. Okay, let's go rook f3, hit the pawn on, on e3. But now I can take and I win the game. Did winning in Norwich has change your rating by much? Not a whole lot. No, the two pawns. Now I escort the pawns up the board. 
Rook guards the pawn. I guard the other pawn, and then I push the Rook, and I just keep escorting up the board. Yeah, I gained something. I don't know how much. Like 10, 11, 12, something like that. Let's go E4. Hey, this is actually trying to look like a legendary speed. Let's play D4, Knight of 3, Bishop C4 here. Castle is very standard. Let's go here. Take space in the center of the board. Take more space. Pawns guard everything. Um, he goes C5. I gained 12.2. Okay. Um, I'm going to go F5. I'm going to try to have some fun here. Sack. I don't know if this is actually good, but there's a lot of pressure here in the center of the board. Take with check. Let's not take the bishop c5. That'd be a big error. Let's go here. Maybe knight. Knight f4. Go for the classic forkaroo on g6. Bing, bang, boom. And now I'm threatening to like ice skater him. All kinds of disasters. I just take, just take, just take, just take, just take, just take, and take, and take. Total disaster. And now just like that after all the magic dust clears i suddenly have one extra one extra tower and that's game over yep there we go very straightforward very smooth and simple play e4 here play d4 takes and c3 go bishop c4 castles and queen to e2 here Queen e2, maybe bishop f4, maybe knight d5. Keep it very, very straightforward and simple here. One thing about playing gambits is that generally because you're down material, you have a lot more space and you have to learn how to use that space in a way that you don't otherwise, which is why uh, I am a big fan if you're newer to the game of playing certain types of gambits because you learn how to play with, with um, you learn how to play with the spatial advantage that you have. Let's go here. I'm going to play e5 and knight e4. Again, spatial advantage uh, matters a lot in these positions. Because you're down material. So I take, I have 96, I have queen h5, all kinds of good stuff coming coming in. I'm just gonna go b3, kick the knight out of town. If knight takes e5, I have 96 here. Go knight d6 check, hit the king, take on f7, and this should just be GG. Why not? In a second. Take the rook on h8 here. I can take the pawn, play queen f3, maybe queen h5, just go for mate and one. More more gambit. I don't know what the more gambit is. Go check mate. Oh, you mean the more or the I don't know what the more gambit is. England Gambit, okay, or I want to play the England, but we don't get it. Okay, let's play the uh, Elephant Gambit. This is the Elephant Gambit or Latvian Gambit with two F5, and it's a very aggressive opening played by none other than Forsen. You basically get the big black center right away. You build, you build a lot of quick, uh, quick ideas in the center of the board. Go D5 and maybe C6, Bishop C5 here. Uh, let's go Knight C6 here maybe and takes. I guess I'll go bishop takes f5, take the pawn. The great force, and yes, exactly. Let's take. Let's take. I love the big black center. Uh-huh, exactly. Now, the reason this opening is so good is you got this really fast development, and you, you just, there's a, there's a lot of uh, lot of stuff going on. So let's take. Although here I'm getting busted by this 1100, which I maybe is a good example of why this opening is not the best opening to play. Oh, no, a rated arena runaway. Yes, I know it's rated, right? Run away, run away. I mean, the thing with unrated Zen is just it's not it's not as much fun. There are people who I feel like rating is the main takeaway for most people when they play chess. It's the thing that makes it, you know, quote unquote worthwhile. Let's go knight to f four. I have ninety two and ninety three here. No, um, let's go here. Let's put the rook on d3. 
and play queen g5 true whenever it's unrated I play dumb stuff I mean it's the same with me like it, I'll give you a good example I was playing against I don't know let's just say let's just say a random 2800 and it's unrated I'm betting you that I score something like probably like 55 percent I wouldn't like probably like score five and a half or six out of ten whereas if it's rated I'm gonna score like eight eight out of ten or nine out of ten because it's just there's nothing on the line Get knight g4 i'm gonna play h5 to kick the knight out of town here now i now the knight is the only thing that guards against the checkmate here on g2 so i can remove this knight which is the defender of the pawn and it's gg okay so here i think i can just go like rook uh rook f3 and take the pawn Let's take the pawn with check and now I'm just gonna go queen f5 queen h3 easy checkmate here did I watch any of uh, Roland Garros no I didn't watch any actually of it I saw a little bit of uh, when I was in Norway of, of Kasper Rude when he was playing but um but uh I watched a little bit of Kasper Rude when he was playing but that was about it I didn't watch much at all Messi said in an interview yesterday he chose Miami because of Hikaru very funny very funny that, that's that's a good one that's the best one I've heard so far today let's just castle here yeah that's that's a good one you guys okay let's play c3 here to stop knight to d4 here and I guess I'm gonna play like Asia. this is where I should go to Google and look up Messi and Hikaru right <laughs> Hikaru have you ever been to Miami um I kind of live in Florida you guys I don't know if people realize that but I kind of live in Fort Lauderdale which is about I don't know 25 minutes away from Miami so yeah maybe one day I'll go to Miami because obviously I've never been there um yeah go d4 and build a big white center <laughs> yeah tough week for Florida with the heat and Panthers losing um well the heat were overmatched I, I will say what my, I actually one thing that I really disliked about um about the playoffs so in both is that like it worked out because the because the heat because the heat lost three in a row to the um to the Celtics but basically they scheduled the finals of um I'm gonna build a big white center here they scheduled the finals of the NBA like one week out so if the heat had swept the Celtics there would have been like 10 days with no basketball and hockey was the exact same thing now in hockey I think it was only like four four days off or something but still like it's not the Super Bowl like you should not have these long breaks between the finals like all the other series started right away it was like clockwork and to me whether it's the NBA or whether it's the um NBA or NHL like it should just be like two days off that's it. it should be like one two days off just like the rest of the playoffs this idea of having like four or five days off before the final is just absurd um now in terms of basketball it didn't matter because the Nuggets were the better team but I very firmly believe that the Panthers if they did not have that nine they didn't have like nine days off or whatever it was before the finals against the Knights I think they would have won the Stanley Cup I think because they had nine days off too much time to think sit around and all these other things they it hurt them immensely I think I think they would have won the Stanley Cup if the, if the series had started like one or two days one or two days after um after after uh after their series ended actually not one or two days sorry I mean one or two days after the gold gold Knight series ended that, that that's the bottom line I think if the if the series starts like two days after the gold Knights win game six I think it was against stars I don't think it matters but they had like it was like another four or five days off and um I, I thought I think it's just ridiculous whether it's basketball whether it's it's hockey I mean come on this is not the Super Bowl where like you know contact sport in the same kind of way so I really am not a fan of that and I thought that was too much Let's go here I can play e5 and open up the uh, long diagonal so I'll take and play e5 classic double a battery here so I can take to play pawn takes actually no, there's mate and one on g2 yeah let's just take and play e takes d6 and rookie seven here very funny mirror I know you're I know you're debating but very funny um let's go bishop a2 and takes yeah go rook d1 maybe rook to e7 next move as well so yeah as as far as the playoffs go I, I just I, I mean the whole uh the whole like 
whole long break, whether it's NBA or hockey, is just ridiculous. For the Super Bowl, I get it because because football is a much more like very heavy contact sport and and so forth. So I understand it. But for NBA and NHL, it should not be. It should it should have been just a couple days off, and that's it. But I'm pretty sure. I mean, I can I can see like Stars Golden Knights game six. Let me see when game six was. It was May 29th. Panthers Golden Knights game one. Yeah, it was June 3rd. So they had 30th, 31st, 1st, and 2nd. It was like nearly five. It was like five full days off after already having had a long break. Um, and that's just ridiculous. It should not have been five days off. Yeah, it was just too much. I mean, it's also amazing too because when you think about you think about the playoffs. When the Panthers won Game Seven against the uh, Boston Bruins, they had to go and play Game One against the Maple Leafs the very next day, if I'm not mistaken. I think they had to play game one the very next day. Like they didn't get a day off after they won the first series. So the notion of having this long break between like the conference finals and the finals, is just, it, it doesn't really make sense in my opinion. Let's go here. I have Knight B7 and D7. Let's go D7. Or maybe they had one day. Did they have one day off or was it no days? They had one day off. Okay. But the point still stands. It's like one day off. Okay. That's normal. That's what it should be. Just have the same thing throughout the entire playoffs. Yeah. Yeah, it should just be like one day off, two days max. End of story. Let's trade. I have an extra rook on the board here, so I'm going to win the game. So, that's just my take. Whether it's NBA, whether it's NHL. Um, but they swept in Vegas one at seven. That's not the point, though. They were still, the, the Golden Knights still had four days off. Uh, five days off after game six. So it's not about the Panthers and their their mental long break. It's the Golden Knights did not play right away. They got five days off. Let's go C5 here. Again, we're going to play this a classic uh, Bogo Indian. Vi the violin. Uh, uh, sorry, it says Vitalins. I, I thought it said violins variation. Let's play B6 and Bishop B7 here. Let's trade. Go Bishop B7. Very simple, straightforward chess. Let's castle. Knight d7, very standard position. A lot of chaos in the center here, but bishops and knights are very, very well placed for me. So I'm doing relatively well here. There's so many openings I would not be I would not be surprised if there's a violin variation. Yeah. Exactly. No, I'm sure there, I, I think there must be some violence variation, but I could be wrong on that. Let's trade. I will take the pawn on e4 here. Can I twerk? No, I cannot twerk. Um, now I'm just up a pawn here. So what I want to do is just trade off the, the big piece. I'm up one. I have uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. So I'm up a pawn here. So I want to trade off materials. Have you ever played the World Cup? Uh, no, I'm not a soccer player, you guys. Let's go Queen D5 and trade the Queens. I mean, I I, I kind of... I, I mean, there. I, I think Shinsuke doesn't play. Can I floss? I floss every night before I go to bed. Um, let's keep trading. I have an extra pawn, so I'm happy to trade here. I'm very happy to just keep trading. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use what we call the outside wing pawn to win this game. I'm going to distract the king, and then I'm going to go after everything on the king's side, basically. Go here. I want to reroute the horse. <laughs> he offers a draw. But it's not going to work because he's losing materials. Again, the knights are very strong. Will there be Master Chef? Yeah, we'll do Master Chef, but much, much later on in the stream. Much later on. Uh, I'm going to go here at king d6. Go here. Knight g4. I don't floss unless necessary. Let's go check. I'm going to reroute the horse to, to e4. Actually, now his knight is glued because he can't move the knight. His king can't come over either. So this should be winning for me. Now I'm going to infiltrate with the king. And now I just get rid of the... I trade off more pawns. Plus two. Too much. I have three versus one. So let's go here. 
think I can go here. His knight is actually kind of stuck. I'm gonna go g4 here. Yeah, his knight's completely boxed. The knight has no squares. The knight has no squares. The knight is sort of suffocating a little bit here. Okay, now I go knight e3. King d3. And his knight is stuck. His knight is just completely stuck here. Yeah, this poor, poor horse. It has no oxygen. It can't move. It's just stuck. And now it's almost stalemate, but the knight has to move. If I take with the knight, it's stalemate, so I take with the king. And now it's just GG. Animal cruelty? Yeah, that's exactly. No draws. Could I win against stock from that position? Three versus one, I would win. Yeah. Three versus four, sometimes it's a draw, sometimes it's not a draw. It, it varies widely. I should have stalemate it for the memes. Yeah, let's play the Petrov defense. Knight takes g4, I take with the pawn. I don't take with the knight. Okay, we get d4. I'm going to play d5 here. Bishop d6, very standard stuff. I did not grow up in Florida. I grew up in New York. New York. Get h3. Now, h3 is a logical move. It simply stops Bishop g4. Get h3. I guess I'll play like c6 to 97 maybe f5 here i grew up in white plains yes white plains new york let's play f5 over protect the horse in the center of the board i'm gonna go like king h8 and maybe knight f6 next move have i experienced the yellow air of new york no i was not in new york when that happened but i was kind of shocked to, to see that so I've got this great bash in the center. It's protected as part of the connect five. I'll just take and put my other bash in there. Did I watch 9-11? You mean, was I in New York when it happened? I mean, I was I was in the suburbs, but yes, I, I was. I mean, it's a uh, day I'll never forget. Knight f3. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to bring the rest of the pieces to, into the game. Now it's rookie eight. All my pieces now are, are very, very well placed here. So. I'm gonna scoot the king out of the center of the board. I was a kid, yes. I was. Uh, that would have been that was September 11, 2000. So I believe I was I was 12 years old at the time. Yeah. Go here. Probably gonna start pushing P on the king side very soon. All my pieces very very well placed. Bishop can't do a whole lot. Rook's good. It's on the E file. I, the idea is to start opening up the king side. Just take. Just take. I can just take. Maybe just queen takes. I have queen d4 here. Go check. Take the pawn. Now I'm just up two pawns here, basically. And this should just be winning. trade for the bishop I can also just go check in queen d6 which looks fine as well is there anything you you miss about LA um I miss the food the food was amazing in LA um that's that's one thing that I miss uh the weather was a little bit better I would say overall so will I be covering Gukesh versus Pranav when do they play you guys do they play today do Gukesh and Pranav play today if they do I'll cover it they play at 12 o'clock I you, you mean Buddy Pranav, right? Okay, yes. You know what? I think I will cover that then. I, I'm going to cover that match. That's going to be a good match, right? That should be a good match. I, I have to cover that. How much of your life has changed after winning 750,000 Norwegian Krone? Uh, absolutely nothing, you guys. Nothing. Keep going. I mean, I took a couple thousand dollars of it. I bet I bought some op bought some calls on Oracle, but that doesn't change my life at all. Let's play D4 and C3. Can we get D5? So he doesn't go into the uh, the, the Smith Moore. He plays D5. I'll take with the Queen and take on E4, I guess. What do you think about canned water? Do you like sparkling more? Um, doesn't really matter to me. That's just a free pawn. 
I think my opponent Mabugi got his lines confused here. He's just down a pawn. I just go F3. We get 96 here. I'm just going to keep developing my pieces here. World number two, Norway chess champion. Congrats. God, take a shot at the world chess championship. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, uh, strike. What? Oh, I bought the, uh, I bought the June 16th calls before, before earnings. Uh, I think it was on, it was on Monday. I bought the, uh, 117, 122 call spread for five, for, uh, for $1 and 50 cents. So two and a half to one odd stock is 125. So I'm going to get a maximum profit to 250% return. So pretty good stuff. Let's go B4 and Bishop B3. Just up a pawn here. End games where you're up a pawn. Very, very nice stuff. Let's go Knight G3, Knight F5 here. Extra pawn on B4. Really nice chain of three here. So pretty good stuff. Why can't it always be Tuesday? It would be nice if there were, there were events like Title Tuesday every day of the week, but that's just how life goes. Let's stack the two towers on the file. Which stonk? Oracle. Actually, I think Larry Ellison is the third richest guy in the world, if I'm not mistaken. Forbes, slide. Um, is he, is he, I thought he was up to number three. Today's winner is Larry Ellison. Yeah, he's the third richest guy in the world. He passed Jeff Bezos today. 155 billion. Jeff is only worth 148.6 billion. I mean, just pennies on the dollar, but hey, it counts for something. Uh, what I need to do is get my knight into the game. My knight on my knight on G3 is not very well placed. I think I'm gonna reroute the knight, maybe around a C1 or something like that. Oh, that's what divorce does to you. Yeah, that that's true. Divorce can be pretty costly. Let's go here. I can take with a bishop now and cover cover the E2 square. Maybe B3 here. Have another look at Logitech shares. I actually saw Logitech last night. I think it was. I saw them at fifty-five bucks, and I was a little bit confused when I when I looked. I recall they were like north of a hundred. I don't know if they're north of a hundred, but they were around a hundred like maybe a year 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 ago or so. And so to see Logitech shares at fifty-five is like, ee. it's not too shocking though. I guess let's go C four. Trying to bring the knight around. Very good idea, actually. Very nice idea to play knight C six here. Go work D6. Okay, we get King F8. So he's trying to bring the King around. It's a very hard position to win, actually, even though I'm up a pawn. These pawns are not really great on the queen side. It's, it's, we're going to play a game of knights here. I have to reroute the pony, basically. And then maybe if I reroute the pony to the right square, I can win this. Like, maybe F4 here. Very tough. What do you think about Andrew Tate's BBC interview? I didn't, I, 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 do you mean, do you mean interview or you mean emergency meeting or what do you mean? I don't, I don't know what you're referring to. Um, I don't know which one you're referring to, but anyway. But no, the, the short answer is no, not really. Oh, let's see, what are we going to get? My opponent's going to resign and we're going to keep going. Can you take your shirt off? No, I, I can't do that. Sorry. That's uh, I know we're we're on uh, we're on kick. But that wouldn't be right. Um, what's a good opening that? I, besides, the thing is, D4 and E4 get stale after a while. But yeah, so I think actually if Gukesh and uh, Pranav are playing, I will cover a little bit of that match because that, that should be a very good match. Need to get back to number one on the Chess.com leaderboard. Uh, I I mean I'll I'm, I'll play Blitz here and there, but I don't, I already played some Blitz. And I, w I wasn't great this morning. I got back to 32, but it wasn't really fantastic. This is a Nimzo Indian, one of the old variations. This is a St. Petersburg Fisher variation with this whole B6, Bishop, B7, where white goes knight G2 and A3. D5 is a solid move. I'm just going to move my bishop, castle my king. The start, at least, is very normal. I take. If he takes on G2, I have rook G1, rook G7. I don't watch UFC. No, I don't. No, I think for me, the main thing is like right now, I'm just focused on trying to trying to play good chess when I play tournaments, focus on my stream when we're streaming the usual, the usual jam and 
so far so good now the reason we're in an end game here or i'm happy in an end game is because i have the, the dose bishops here and i can try to play e4 create a chain block the bishop no scope and now i go bishop e3 target this weak pawn and with these bishops it should be a small advantage in an end game it's not like it's winning or anything now here i have a couple options i can trade which i'm going to do just so i can show you guys how the two on one majority works on the queen side here but there, there are many options let's go knight c5 hit the bishop i'm gonna go b4 and again i'm gonna try to use this majority on the queen side to push push p up here uh why is nihal never invited big tournaments that's not true nihal is invited to tournaments um but nihal is of course i think finishing up school or something along those lines really that's, that's what vishy said recently i think so um that, that's what i heard go back probably bishop d7 Thanks so much to Baba for subscribing. Thanks so much to Baba for the three month resub. Thanks so much to Baba. I mean, as far as Nihal goes, I think the bottom line is Nihal just is not, um, he's not, he's focused on finishing his school as I understand it. So, I mean, school is important at the end of the day. Let's go here. I'd expected more from Noterbeck and Norwich has, I, I think with Noterbeck, he was a little bit too, um, he was a little bit too optimistic i i think you know i i said i i think i said this before but for me i think it was a godsend that i performed so poorly in the champions chess tour right before norway chess because i think performing so poorly in that event it gave me a couple of extra days off i was able to reset mentally uh you know focus a bit more and and so for me it was really good i think for noterbeck when he did so well in the chess champions tour which i believe he won in fact um when he did so well there, I think actually he, he lost some of his objectivity about chess. And he started thinking he could walk on water essentially, and that hurt him dramatically in um in in Norway chess in the in the over the board event event. That that was my general takeaway. Is I think because he did so well in the online event, he started feeling like he could walk on water. He wasn't objective. He made some very dubious opening choices, and frankly, his performance was actually a lot better than it could have been because he won a game against Tari where he was completely lost. He got a miracle win in that game, and even with that game, it was still bad. But if he had lost that game like he was supposed to, he would have um, he would have had a really poor event. So I think I think in general. I, I, with Noterbeck, he started thinking he could walk on water after winning the online event, and it hurt him immensely in the uh, in, in the over the board event. I take, take, and Bishop D5, and I win the rook. School is not important. I've learned more from books and personal study than my course itself, and it costs fifty thousand. Ah, uh, true. Start pushing P. King can't actually get back. All the squares are boxed here. He can't move the king over. The king can't get in here, and so now I just chill. He has to move away, and then I push P and make a queen. No way. There we go. What did I study in college? Uh, I was going to study um, political science. If I had stayed in college, it would have been a very poor decision to stay in college, but I'd probably be like wearing cheap, bad suits and doing something like being a lobbyist, some kind of aide or something, something horrible in politics if I had stayed in school rather than playing chess. So... Um, yeah, hey brother, you're a smart guy. Oda Block looks up to you because of your impressive chess skills. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I haven't had a chance to watch too much of his streams, but I do check in here, here and there. Um, that's great. But yeah, if I, if I had stayed in college, you guys, I can tell you what would have happened. I would be wearing cheap suits. I'd be an aide to somebody in probably like the House or the Senate, and I or I would be a or I would be like a lobbyist person trying to you know do things that are not really all that great. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty simple, you guys. <laughs> that's what I would be doing right now. I'd be I'd be I'd be a bad person for lack of a better way of putting it um let's go Bishop G7 here I mean I, you know like as an example not to be political but I wonder what the aides who work for uh who work for Diane Feinstein think because I mean obviously she should not be in the set anymore she's way too old she's she's had a great career but she clearly doesn't have it and yet you still have like aides like making sure they're with her all the time and it's just like what even is the point what even is the point of life when when people are in the Senate and they, they, they're kind of, it's, it's past their time. So, anyway. Now we have Swiss cheese here where I can plop the pony on D4, but because he has the bishops, the bishop on the light squares is simply locked in. You look at these pawns, everything is in the way. There's just no scope. You have a couple empty squares and no threats. So let's go knight E8 here. I'm going to try to reroute my knight to D4 is what I'm aiming for. You still think Alarez is one step above Gukesh and Noterbeck? 
I think Noterbeck, I mean, Noterbeck is one tournament, so you can't be super critical of his chess. Um, but I would say Noterbeck in the top events he's played, he, I mean, he was impressive in Tata Steel, but that wasn't a pure top 10 field. Um, Gukesh to me is the real deal. I actually, I had a conversation with uh, Vishy Anand, the former world chess, former five-time world chess champion from India about Gukesh recently. And uh, Vishy also very, very excited by, by the potential that Gukesh has. So um, I, I would say right now, I think that, um, I think that Gukesh is the real deal. Ali Reza obviously is the real deal as well. Um, we'll see. S&P just hit 4,000, hit 4,400. Market is overvalued in my opinion. I'm just going to say it. I think the market, I think the market is, is overvalued. I really do. Uh, the run has been completely insane. I, I mean, I'm not, I, I've been long. I've been quite long recently, but I think the market is, is, is a little bit overjuiced right now. I think it's, I think it's overdone completely, but I'm not shorting anything, obviously. Uh, there's some mistakes. I have F5 and F4 here. I, I actually, maybe I won't take advantage of it. There's a way to keep pieces on the board. I mean, I, 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 if you were to ask me what I think about the markets right now, I think, I, you know, I, I don't look at technical analysis anymore the way that I once did, but I would guess, I think we, I think we probably, I think we have another, I'm going to guess a couple weeks to maybe weeks to maybe like a couple weeks to maybe two months of a run up. I think the fall is going to be pretty bad though. I, I think the fall won't be good. I think earnings are not going to be great. And I expect a big pullback. I don't know if we're going to get like a 5% pullback or 10% pullback, but I, I don't, I don't think we're going to rally much higher from here. I think, I mean, we could drift up like another three, four, 5%, but I'd be surprised if we're up more than that. I'd be very surprised. No, I mean the earnings, I, I mean, when do the, the earnings come in around what, like mid September? I mean, I'm, I'm not going to check that right now, but I'm guessing the, the earnings come back, uh, come back in, in the next, uh, next few, uh, next few, um, is it, is it mid September? Or is it October? The banks are the first one to report, but I just I, I don't I don't keep up with that the way that I the way that I the way that I used to. So, uh, but I mean I think probably I think we'll get like ten percent down. I could see a, I think we might drift up another four or five percent from where we're at right now. But I, I think we're gonna get a fairly fairly big pullback. Like ten percent is not a joke. Fifteen percent maybe, but we'll see. Is it possible to make a living from investing? Generally, no, no, it's not. Because in order to make a living from investing, it's not actually investing, it's trading. And then, I mean, yes, it's like if, if you if you flop, not if you flop rather, but if you uh, if you basically play options or something like that, or you gamble in penny stocks, if you get really lucky, yes, you can make enough money to where you have, have a big bankroll, but objectively, no, objectively, no. Because if you actually invest the, the way that most people do via like the ETFs or just individual stocks, you're collecting your dividends and everything else, but it's not, I mean, it's not that much unless you have tons of money to begin with. Let's go H5. I'm going to go for the fish hook. If you have insider info, you can make a fortune. Yeah, but most of us aren't in Congress, so it's not really an option. Um, let's go Bishop B8 here. C4. I'm going to go D4 and E4. I'm just going to try to attack here. Attack the knight on, on F3. And the fish hook works. We get takes and Queen H4. Let's take and go checkmate. What could not be any more wrong? What could not be any more wrong? Uh, what did I miss? Let's play. Uh, let's play uh, e5 here. Maybe knight c6. It should be five, I guess. Uh, I'll play a standard standard uh, Rui Lopez here with a6. Let's go g6. Bishop g7. I need to learn what you just did. That was a fish hook. You used the pawn and you dangled the horsey. It's like the bait. You, you fish hook. I mean, that's not the actual term, but that's what Forsen called it. So Forsen, one of the legends, uh, one of the pioneers in, sh in live streaming, called it that. So that's why I call it the fish hook. Go D5 here. Play for the big black center. The fishing pole trap. Yeah. You were live for over 10 hours yesterday? Yes, you guys. I stream long hours. I mean... I got a nice long break. I went and I went and uh, I took a vacation from stream. I went to Norway. So I, I mean, I should be refreshed and ready to stream 10 hours every day. Once again, I mean, this is my job as I've said before. So yeah. Go here, trade some bishops. Well, who we love long streams. Yeah. Is there a reason you prioritize kick over Twitch? 
Um, well, I, I have a contract with, with Kick, of course, so there's that. But um, separate from that anyway, like, it's, it's just, it's nice to mix it up. It's nice to try and grow the community. I pointed this out before we did the raid yesterday, but there were, there were 12 chest streams that were live when we ended yesterday. And with 12, with 12, um, with 12 chest streams, like, that's more streams than I think I've ever seen before for chess. So it is actually growing a little bit here on, here on Kick. Now, what the future holds, nobody knows. I mean, I'm not a prophet, so uh hard, hard to judge but also as i said before uh, for the viewers you get no ads so the experience is much nicer without getting hit with those unskippable ads and additionally it's a 95 5 sub split so with the 95 5 sub split versus 50 50 that that does add up okay i've got the legendary triple stack on the d file here come on he got a bond cloud or predict piece you'll mate with pre-game uh i can do i'll do a bond cloud next game why not yeah yeah, the thing that I don't like about these arenas, and I, I know chess.com has a way of fixing it, is somehow the pairings, I'm playing too many much lower rate. I don't mean like 1900s, but too many like 12, 1300s. Prime option is nice though. Yes, that is true. That is true. Yeah. That is true. Um, play F5. As a broadcaster, wouldn't you rather have the ads, especially if you have lots of viewers and not as many subs? Uh, it depends on what the breakdowns are, obviously, in terms of what is better or what isn't better. Let's take. I'm going to go king f7, maybe king six, maybe f4, e4. I, f4 doesn't... Actually, f4 looks like it traps the bishop. The bishop gets out, and then he gets a bash in for the knight. So I have to be careful how I push p in the center. So I'm just going to slowly bring the king closer. Has Fabiano made a new podcast yet? I don't think he has. Let me see. C squared podcast. Um, videos. No, their last video is from 13 days ago. So Fabiano still has not done a, done a podcast since he lost the final round game against me. Harsh. Let's play B6 here. But anyway, yeah. Oh, you know, actually, I got to tell you guys another funny thing. Because there, I, I, I don't know if there's a... I, I, I don't know um, I don't know if there is a clip or not. But apparently, when I, before I played Fabiano the day before we played in the final of Norwich Chess, I said something like, I, I consider Fabiano and I to be competitors, but not rivals. And I think Fabiano apparently said, like, what is the difference or something like that. I don't know if my mods can find the... Um, um I, I don't know if somebody can find me the clip can, can gm gm levi or gm levy can you uh if you put the clip can you send the clip to uh to uh to um to creamsicle so i i, I or creamsicle sorry because i i want to um i i want to find that clip because i haven't seen it because basically what i was going to say is that um is that so apparently fabio was like rivals competitors what's the difference i'm not going to take the take the bishop even though it's free um, and basically the difference in my mind between being, uh, between, between being rivals and competitors is that when someone is like a rival, you want them to do poorly. Like it's not enough that you do well. It's like, you're, you're like, you want them to do badly. And for me, um, for me, like when I say that, like, and I look at Fabiano, the reason that I don't really consider us rivals is because I'm, I'm not like actively hoping that like Fabiano messes up or does poorly or all these other things. Whereas I think when you're rivals, generally you want them to like, you want them to suck. For lack of a better better word, you want them to suck. You're like, when you see them do badly, you're like, <laughs> it's so nice. Um, but I, I don't have that, I don't have that that viewpoint. So um okay, what do I have? I have four pawns here. Yeah, let's go here and play like h5 and f4 f4 g3. But yeah, so I, I don't I don't I don't have that viewpoint at all. So that's why when I said it, I just thought it was funny that um that the, the Fabian was like, well, rivals, competitors, what's the difference? But to me, that is the difference, by the way. Is so that like when Fabiano does well, I'm actually happy to see Fabiano do well. I'm not like, I'm not rooting for him to do poorly. Okay, let's play D4 here or something different. Oh, you want to, uh, let's play the Bond Cloud. Actually, we can play the Transvestite, maybe. I'm going to go like E3. Somehow I have actually a not so bad position here. The what? Uh, you rearrange the king and the queen. It's just normal chess. Go here. 
Goes b4, trying to get some kind of attack on the queen side. Let's look at g3, maybe bishop f4. Let's take. I'm gonna just bring my king over, basically. E5 is a good move, actually. Um, let's take. This guy's playing very well. He's not playing like a 2000 all, so I, I better be very precise. Oh, wow. He does this. I actually might be able to draw this now. <laughs> I think I'm going to be able to draw this. I'm down to pawn, but he has double pawns here. Is it too late to say sorry? No, 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 it's not too late to say sorry. Go A3. Just type in YouTube, Fabi's arrival. Okay. Go here, bring my king in, I guess. I think I can go here and rook B6, maybe. No, rook c2 is actually a better move, I think. Mm. Okay, whatever. Goes on. I think I'm going to win this game, by the way. Because I have a5 and like rook b6 to hook him. Go h4 maybe. Oh, h4 is a horrible move. What am I doing? Okay, that was very bad. Go here. Good check. Uh, is this meeting two? I think I have check and mate. I think it's just force mate. Free top G man, right? Um, I I mean, who knows what's going on with that? I mean, the only thing I would say on that topic is, I mean, I find it very peculiar that it's been what, like seven months or something now. It's been a very long time and. There's all this talk, all this stuff, and somehow it doesn't sound like anything has happened, which to me is just very odd. Because at least, at least what you saw in the media was like, it's slam dunk, everything's clear cut, and it's apparently not clear cut because nothing has happened. So I don't know. That, that's my that's the only my only take. I mean, it's I don't, I don't have a strong take either way, but I find it bizarre that I find it bizarre that somehow like <laughs> that nothing uh nothing has happened. Okay, let's play the Gucci piano here. Go bishop g4. Go here and take. Go here and take, I guess. Straightforward. Can I copy my opponent's moves next thing? Well, I want to get the weirdest possible pawn structure, but I can't. I'd love to somehow get my pawn, get a box or something in the center, but I can't. But yeah, anyway, that's just my general take is, I mean, the, the whole thing I just find kind of weird. What am I drinking? I'm drinking my classic water, you guys, or vodka. It could be vodka, obviously. It's always possible, but generally it's water. Just take the bishop here. Go E5. It's definitely vodka, yeah. Go queen e7, maybe rook f8 next move. Of course, once again, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Seven pawns. Now I'm going to take with the pawn so I can create a bastion with this and to connect four as well. This knight on e5 has all kinds of jumps. So I create oxygen for the horse to start jumping every which way. Like there's this, this, this. 
go here. Would you rather release a chess course on Chessable or Chessly? Um, no clue, actually. No clue at all. H5 is a horrible move, but now I can go F3 because now there's no ice skater on the back. That's why I did this. Now I go here, put pressure on the pawn on F2. It's looking really scary. Maybe it's still okay for white, but I have queen e3 and knight e3 too. Yeah, so I saw there's a video of Fabiano. Now I'm just going to try to get the lolly here, like queen f4, queen g3, queen g2, queen g2 to sneak the queen in. These knights is catching on. Heard people say it in Union Square, Manhattan. Hatton? Yeah. How to join the arena? Uh, you need to be a member of the fan club to join it. I sent the yeah, I saw the video, you guys. I have the link to the YouTube video. I'll probably watch it uh, after this. Yeah. I go check. King F1 just takes an HG4. Looks pretty good. Take and take. I'm just going to take with a pawn and then go G3 next move. I'm so used to missing streams because I, I keep thinking this is a VOD or on YouTube. No, no, this is not a VOD. This is not on YouTube. We're, we're live right now, you guys. So yeah, I think we're, we'll finish out this arena pretty soon. We're going to cover the uh, the SEC between Gukash and Pranav. We'll get back to speed run. We'll watch Master Chef in like seven hours from now. So that, that's going to be the plan pretty much. I didn't actually mean to play F4. Let's, let's... I'm going to manually uh, cast my king to G2. Coffee chess anytime soon. I'm not in California, you guys. So if I'm not in California, it's kind of hard to do coffee chess. Um, I guess I'll just offer the trade of the bishops. Go h3. Now, again, black has much more space here. So black should not trade pieces. It's a big mistake. When you have much more space here, and I mentioned this in my video that I did on Magnus yesterday, when you have much more space here in the in positions, you generally don't want to trade pieces if it doesn't lead to some sort of material advantage, whether it's like you get more pieces on the board or whether it's some big weakness. And there's no big weakness. So actually here, trading the bishops was a big mistake. He shouldn't have done that. Oh, Loki, I thought they were Florida-based. No, they're in uh they're they're based in LA. I mean, I'll go back at some point, obviously, but hold up today's paper. Yeah, exactly. Ah, now see, this is a good move. I go G4, you can sack, but I can scoot the king over. Come do Alabania, bro. Do a playing chess in public video. It'd be amazing. There are many old people here who are hustlers. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. But again, traveling is not easy. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of planning. Uh, it's just, it's difficult. Do I ever get bored of playing chess? I'm sure you've gotten this question a lot. Sometimes I do, but generally not, not that much, no. Because you always learn something new. That's the main thing with chess. There's always something new to be learned. I'm going to go king f1 here. You wish Chicago had an outdoor chess scene? Actually, it's kind of weird that Chicago does it, because Chicago, with all the parks and everything, seems like they should. It feels like Chicago should have some kind of outdoor chess scene, for sure. Black is much better here. I'm in a lot of trouble. Go here, attack the knight. But, I mean, again, yeah. Let's go knight b5. I have a very, very bad position, but I'll probably win the game just because of time. But I think the Petrov is only good for a draw. Now, D3 is a horrible move because it closes the center of the board even more. And now there's no really no way to attack my king. My king is actually very safe with the pawns all in front of it. Big mistake. Um, I'm going to go A3 to kick the knight and then Rook C1 probably. But it's not Wednesday. I know exactly. Oh, wow. He sacks to go E3. Nice. But now I have knight D5 and look at D's knights. I'm going to sack my rook too in a second.
Not good. If you played outdoor chess in Chicago, you'd be robbed shot in very sh short order. Oh, Chicago that unsafe these days. I, I mean, there's some bicycle path and everything that I thought was nice, but I, I don't know. Uh, let's take. Good night of three. Chicago is real life chess, i.e. crime on the streets. <laughs> okay. Okay. Every person in Chicago has died. Okay, relax, relax. And there's there's bail, so the same person will be back to rob you again. Uh, okay, that's starting to sound like some kind of Republican viewpoint or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, everyone's getting shot. It's like unsafe, crime, et cetera, et cetera, whatever. Okay. They D1, pressure on the knight. I can play C4 here. But anyway, it's very exaggerated. There are nice parts in Chicago. Okay. I mean, I've been to Chicago. Like, I have been there before. Uh, let's go here, finish our development. The B shops are developed very nicely here. Perfect development. I can bring the knight into the center of the board as well. Tactics are very important in the lower levels of chess. Very, very important. Let's develop the knight. I go 94. I can take. Tactics are very important. I would say with tactics alone, you can probably get very high over the, at over the board chess. Go here. We kick the queen out of town. I can take. I can play like knight c4. Very, very nice position. trade now here I don't really have a whole lot of extra space so trades are completely fine it's just a matter of now I have to decide which pieces are, are better and this bishop on d3 looks pretty good with a lot of scope whereas if I take he has an unopposed bishop so he has this bishop that's unopposed so I don't really want to trade the bishop right now these arenas are normally normally I do it like one hour this one I made a little bit longer I made this 90 minutes um but we have the goo catch match which I will cover a little bit of until it gets out of control unless it gets out of control we'll continue with our speed run we'll probably play some more blitz try to get my rating back up a little bit probably do master chef etc etc we still probably have another like six seven hours of streaming ahead is it better to be a defensive player or attack 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 I would say up to probably international masters it's very good to be uh be a slash and attack kind of player than to be a defensive player absolutely much better being a being an, an aggressive attacking player I'm gonna try to set up the double or not double sorry the um the batter with queen e4 actually no I'll go 95 here take away the square and I still want queen e4 queen d3 with the battery all right bishop c6 let's go let's go queen h5 threaten this pawn on f7 it's a big weakness here for him to deal with I've taken Buddy Pranav in my bracket as Gukesh does not have much online experience. Hopefully it's a good match. I mean, I think Pranav has a good chance to win. Says the number two ranked best defensive player. Yes, but you guys, when I was growing up, I was a much more aggressive kind of player than I am now. I used to play very, very much an aggressive, aggressive style. Favorite things at Costco? Uh, they always, the, the, the pizza slash hot dog, those combos are good. I mean, the fact that Costco has never raised the prices on the buck 50 hot dog plus, uh, drink combo is uh is out of this world good especially because most of us aren't billionaires like jeff bezos and, and others so we you know inflation does matter um so hot dog is one of the hot dog combo is one of my favorite things um i like um i always like i, I always feel like they have a, they, they have good whole chickens like when you go and you buy the chicken in the hot section it's always pretty good um i, I like uh i always like the um what do you call them the quesadillas quesadillas are good from like the more like the the the, the ready-made food kind of um what else is there that i'm forgetting the salmon salmon is always relatively okay it's like the salmon or, or like the tuna it's decent i wouldn't say it's necessarily great it's not one of my personal favorites though um so what else is there knight of six is a move um i could take the pawn and win the game but i'm just gonna play h4 h5 to play for a theme Costco has sushi. I've seen the sushi, but I've never gotten the sushi. I've never gotten the sushi from Costco. I'm aware of it, but I've never got, gotten it. So there's checkmate and one on H8 lurking.
There's no good checkmate. Oh, wait, no, there's checkmate. I didn't even see the mate. You mean Quasi Dillas? Yeah. How do you become a good tactical player? Just play, doing lots of puzzles. Lots of tactical puzzles over and over and over and over again. That's how, that's how you get really good at it. Good G6, Bishop G7. Actually, I was supposed to play A6 to keep it like a Banco. Favorite movies? I don't have favorite movies. But most of the movies I like are old movies, not, not new movies. Too many remakes. Not my thing. The idea here is to use the open lanes, like Rook B8, and use these open lanes to perfection. What about music? Uh, I like all kinds of music. Have I seen the good, the bad, and the ugly? No, I, I have not, actually. Go here, trade some queens. What's my favorite sandwich? Uh, definitely not an idiot sandwich. That's a free queen. Scarface is okay. A little bit too much for me. Okay, this is a French opening with Bishop B4 and C5. Classic win a war. Let's take and go Queen A5. Have I played more than 100,000 chess games? Easily, yes. Easily. Not even close. Jessica Beal or Alba? Okay, that's a random question that I don't need to answer. But it, of course, it would be Jessica Alba. Let's play C4 and Bishop D7. Um, and go like Knight 6 or Bishop D7. Yeah, when I was young, I remember like I, I watched a... Um, I watched the show. What was it like? Dark Angel, Dark something that she was in. Um, let's go Bishop D seven. So just take the pawn and play B five. Let's take go B five. I'm just on the pawn here. I'm not super worried. Just like B five H six. Refuse to answer the question. Then the answers anyway. Yeah, let's go H six. Let's go B five. Yeah. It was like Dark Angel. Was it Dark Angel? It was some show on Fox. It was really cheesy. Uh, I think it was Dark Angel, right? Yeah, it was Dark Angel, yeah. Let's take the pawn here. How's my experience on kickman so far? Great. By the way, I'm just up one, two, three pawns. I just start pushing P on the on the queen side. I'm just going to start pushing P. Work ethic over talent. Work ethic matters a lot more than, than pure talent, in my opinion. Stover says, how long, how long did it take you to get used to playing online? I've been in prison for the past 10 years and only have played played over the board. Very funny, Stover. If you're in prison, you're not on, you're not on the internet. So very, very funny, dude. Very funny. <laughs> very funny. Okay. Yeah, very funny. That's a good one. It's like, uh, that, that's a good troll. I like it. Uh, let's just go here. I'm using the three pawns. I'm just going to keep pushing P. I mean, everything wins, but I'm just going to go like here. I was in prison and got cocaine phone. It's easy peasy. Okay, well, I wouldn't know. Uh, let's just cast. I'm just going to keep pushing the P. Are there any GMs in prison? Probably in Russia. Well, maybe in Russia there are. There are. I doubt there are like in the US, but maybe in Russia. It's definitely possible in Russia. Um, yeah, I just keep pushing the P. Okay, I keep pushing P. I mean, these pawns are so fast. Let's go like here to make a new queen. It's, but wait, if it's easy to get a phone in prison, then why is, uh, why, why, why is prison so bad? I mean, if, if you can get a phone in prison, like, it, it's almost like, I mean, you don't have to worry about bills or anything else. You, like, 92 in castles. There's no Wi-Fi. Okay. Okay. I right, so maybe a phone, you can make a call and everything else. Like, what, what's so what's so bad about it? Sack of peace here. I mean, lack of freedom. <laughs> because you're in prison. Okay. Okay, this is just terrible. <laughs> Let's go queen d3. Okay, anyway. Uh, check and mate. Uh, 
All right, let's keep, keep finishing with E4. Knight C3, Knight F3. 15 minutes, then we'll cover the Gukesh match. Now I'm going to play the very aggressive sacrifice lines. I'm just going for the sack lines. Like Bishop G6. And what, Black's already, I think, in a lot of trouble here. I was in jail for 90 days once, and it felt like 10 years. Ah. Uh, anyway that kind of took a weird turn so let's play f3 here kick the bishop out of town it's gonna go d4 and c4 and attack a lot of people genuinely prefer prison to the real world okay or if you want free meals okay <laughs> um Let's just take and go queen d3. <laughs> Chat crying about no girls and bad food like they have anything like that in their mom's house anyway. <laughs> That's a good one, Crispy. That's a good one. Yeah, free security too. Yes, there's free security. <laughs> oh my God. You guys are really making me laugh today. Yeah, it's right. There's free security. You don't have to pay for food. Like, I mean, what, 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 what else? <laughs> let's take a queen f5 yeah free housing no bills right no bills <laughs> no taxes either right no taxes yep free cleaning up yep. yeah <laughs> good check and take okay you guys okay take the bishop here <laughs> you have to pay taxes on the money you make if you work in the commissary wait what really you have to pay taxes on the money that's not good that's bad that's not right it's been 98 <laughs> take the bottom b7 Yeah, paying tax on one dollar an hour is pretty rough, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's play C3, play the Alpin variation. So you try to build the big white center immediately. You get these two pawns, control a lot of space in the center of the board with the two pawns here. Go D5. Let's go Bishop D2 and Bishop C3 here. Yeah. Let's go Knight BD2, guard the pieces. Uh, can I do a shroom with my brother? Unlikely. Unlikely. Not in, not in the near term. Go here, Bishop C2. I mean, he lives in New York. I live in Florida, so it's pretty unlikely. I mean, I know there's this thing called the internet that we're using right now, but still. He also works normal hours, too. Why is Jocelyn better at beating worse players? Well, he's better at cheesing them specifically. He's better at like playing random openings and cheesing them. Uh, whereas I, I don't, I don't really, it's not that I don't possess the ability, but I don't do that. I just try to win a game normally every single time. Um, my brother doesn't play chess anymore. Not, not seriously. He, he still plays casually online quite frequently, quite a bit. Let's go here. Stop the knight from coming in. Stop the knight again. No jumps. How do I play this? Actually, I guess I'll go check. Maybe like stack the two towers. There's no clear cut concept or plan here. Why is your brother still working with your net worth of 200 million plus? Good one, you guys. Good one. Drop the bishop back. I think I can actually go F4 to kick the knight out. Knight has no jumps. Uh, his real rating, or his rating is, I, I think when he stopped, his FIDE rating was like 2150 maybe. His USCF was like 20, 20, uh, his USCF was like 20, 2250 maybe. Around there, somewhere, somewhere in that range. If I won the lotto, would I still stream? I think if I won the lottery, like if I won like $800 million, I think I still would stream, but I probably would stream very casually. 
It'd probably be like, I, I, I probably would only stream one day a week. I'd stream like Tuesday, but I would make it like a really long stream. But it'd be like one day a week. I think I still would stream. No, I, I do think I would still stream, actually. But I wouldn't stream anywhere near as much. I'd just stream like one day a week, probably. Let's take. I just have an extra piece. So I just need to simplify the position. Trade off all the pieces here. Tango Knight of three here. Have I thought about retiring? Um, not specifically. No, I mean I, I have certain things in mind, but it's not like it's not on, on, on the uh, on the top of my mind right now. I guess I'll take the pawn and play like Queen G two maybe. Have I ever played Settlers of Catan? Yes, I have played Settlers of Catan. What are the best tips for hard suck beginners? That's a that's a very difficult one because obviously when you start out you like you have really fast improvement up to a point, and then like everything else you hit the wall. Um, is there like a specific piece of advice I have? Good checking me. Um, candidates a real option. I don't know. I mean, for people who are hard as beginners, I think really it's just keep playing. You really just have to stay positive, but keep doing what you're doing. That's the main thing. Yeah, I, I think it's just keep doing puzzles, keep trusting the process, not to make a joke out of it, but keep trusting the process, keep doing what you've been doing, but you have to stay very positive about it. It's very important to stay positive. You just stay positive and keep believing that that, that you're, what you're doing is, is the right approach. Go D5, big white center is completely in play here. I feel like lately I've had a mental block around being stuck. Oh, I missed 94, so if I take, actually, okay, let's see what's going on here. He's gonna take, he's gonna take, I go here. I go here, if he takes, he loses the rook in the corner pocket. I'm threatening to take as well on B7. I'm not a 76ers fan, no. Let's go here. I'm threatening C7 checkmate, by the way. And if he takes, he loses the rook in the corner pocket again. I mean, I think a basic, basic openings strategy is all you need. You do not need anything like fancy schmancy whatsoever. Now I'm going to bring the rook into the game. He's still lacking his five pieces on really bad squares here. This is very scary to play for my opponents. It's very scary. You want to see Hikaru play GTA 5? I have played GTA 5 on stream before. When is, G is GTA 6 ever coming out? I mean, I remember hearing about it a while ago. Is it, is it ever coming out? Let's see, is it coming out? Ah, uh, GTA 6. Oh, is there actually a lot of rumors around GTA 6? Ah, uh, there's a lot. There's there's a lot of a uh, lot of rumors about it. I'm just googling it. Okay, let's go check. Taking out the kebab with rook to d7. Yeah. Let's go check, check, check. I can always make the check on C7 again. Um, I'd love to get a kebab, but I don't see how to get the kebab. Maybe I just go bishop C6 and hit the rook. Why do I do puzzles on stream? I do puzzle on stream, just not right now. Good catch match started. Yeah, we'll cover it soon. Now I'm just going to keep my pieces on the board. I'm just going to use these knights. That's the plan. Because Black's pieces are very paralyzed here. I'm going to put the Knight on D5. Stop him from put, putting the Rook on B6. And now I'm just going to start rotating D's Knights. The whole live stream during your Norway chess final game against Fabian on the chat was going insane saying D's Knights. Yeah, let's just take. I'm threatening mate in one with Rook 8. Knight covers squares. Yeah, because against Fabiano, I did have D's knights, right? It's not mate and two if he moves the king, I guess. One, one, two, two, three, yeah. He's stream sniping? I don't think so. I'm just going to use D's knights, though. D's knights and D's bishops. Like, everything is just lurking here. Everything's jumping. Go here. He gets a spite check. It was three checks, he would win. Yovanka kept saying it, but now everyone says it. Yeah, but I heard that Yovanka, who's the one she was saying these nights during the stream, she didn't realize what these nights actually means. She didn't quite realize what uh, what it actually means. Good check. It should be forced mate, right? Check, check, check. Yeah. 
Yeah, she had no idea? Yeah. Yep. Geometry Dash? I haven't played Geometry Dash in a very, very long time. Yeah. Okay, let's play, let's play the Budapest. My opponent's from Hungary, so let's play the Budapest Gambit here. What does it actually mean? D's something else. I'm sure she knows by now. I'm sure someone must have told her what it means, but yeah, that's like one of those things. What about Fortnite? Uh, I haven't played Fortnite in a while. I, I think I updated Fortnite the other day. I could play it on stream at some point, but I really want to save the Fortnite for when I do a 24-hour stream. Speeder is too boring. We're covering Goo Cash soon. We're covering Goo Cash's match very soon. But as, as far as it being too boring, try, trying to get back into the swing of things. And also, there are no major events happening uh, at the moment. So it's kind of difficult. There isn't a whole lot of content. So, yeah, I'm finishing up the finishing up the speed run. Hopefully, I finish that up today. And then we have some more interesting speed runs in the near future coming up. So, yeah, it, it, it is what it is. Yeah, I probably should have made the arena 60 minutes versus 90. 90 is a little bit too long. But, all right, let's take. Finish this off. We're cover, covering Goo Cash soon. Yeah, I mean, right now there isn't a whole lot going on. Right now it's like this little bit of the lull in the chess chess world. There's like no no Grand Chess Tour, no uh, no Chess Champions Tour. Um, yeah, no 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 major no major stuff at the moment. It's what it is. Yeah, World Cup is at the end of July, I guess. But we'll see. Okay, let's go Queen G five here. You're too old for a twenty four hour stream. You'll get pneumonia and your hips and knees will be achy, achy breaky. Yeah. There was Magnus drama though. What Magnus drama? You said there are too many tournaments in general. Yes, but I think right now is like this period when there actually aren't. There, there aren't a lot of tournaments going on for whatever reason. Such chill vibes on kick. Love the no ads. Yeah. GCL. What is GCL? Oh, GCL is the on or not online. Sorry, the overboard thing, the Tech Mahindra thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's something like that. When is the Reddit React dropping on YouTube? Uh, let me check my. Ch let me check. I, I, I have it uploaded. Uh, here's the fossil i have it uploaded but well, let me check when when i'm putting when i'm releasing it i'm releasing it uh pretty soon i think probably like either today or tomorrow most likely something like that yeah let's move the rook have i been to milwaukee yes i played a chess tournament there many years ago in milwaukee um so yeah i have all right, he's going to resign. I'm taking a break. We're going to cover the Goo Cash match and go from there, basically. I might play some Blitz as well. Yeah, 90 is too long. I should I should have made this a 60-minute arena because it's just it starts to drag. I mean, like, the last 30 minutes have just been completely dragging here. Stream FIFA 23 on 24-hour stream. I think I will do a 24-hour stream sometime in the next month or two. Not sure when exactly, but I do think I will. Um... I love how old school the stream is now. It takes me back to the old days. What do you mean by old school? What do you mean by old school exactly? I'm not sure what you mean by that. What do I make? Queens, Knights, something else. He resigns. Okay. All right. I'm taking a short break. Uh, let me let me actually log into my main account. 